What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out a brand new Unchained support monster that just got revealed coming out of Eternity Code. I wasn't sure if this archetype was going to get more support, but it looks like Konami has not forgotten about Unchained. This is Unchained Twin Salama. It's a Dark Fiend monster, level 3, because uh, that just seems to be a very popular level for the Unchained archetype. Keep them tour guide plays going. 1500 attack, 1500 defense, and both of your effects are hard once returns first effect says you can target one unchained card in your graveyard except another copy of salama set it on your field then destroy one card you control second effect if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect except its own effect you can special summon one unchained monster from your hand or deck except another copy of salama this card is it kind of reminds me a little bit of like scrap wyvern essentially a card that lets you use a resource from your graveyard again or like put it on the field at the cost of blowing up one of your cards now naturally the first thing that came to mind for me is uh basically kind of being able to recycle your unchained spells and traps we know that unchained generally wants to blow up its own cards whether those be monsters or spells and traps because basically they all kind of float so if you blew up one of your spells and traps earlier in the turn or maybe in a previous turn you can pull that card back from your graveyard then you can just blow it up again and that will float into one of your monsters you can also pull back the main deck monsters set them on the field and then blow them up you cannot reborn to my knowledge the link monsters with this card because of course those cannot be set face down on the field link monsters just can't be set so this does work with the main deck monsters and it works with the spells and traps it does float as like pretty much all the unchained uh, main deck monsters do that's really nothing special so i feel like this gives the deck a little little bit of uh you know recursion i kind of wish it was a quick effect it would have just been another way of uh you know having some type of interaction during your opponent's turn being able to summon monsters during your opponent's turn i feel like the main problem with unchained right now is the fact that it doesn't really have enough disruption during the opponent's turn like how many ways can you really stop your opponent while playing unchained i mean they have that one trap card that's kind of like a scrap dragon where it blows up an unchained uh, card on your side of the field and then it blows up your opponent's uh, card but that's kind of it like the deck it definitely lacks natural disruption and um, you know it has tons of monster removal it has tons of just pure destruction but most of it is during your turn and it feels like you don't have a lot of ways of kind of stopping your opponent overall this is I mean it's a fine card for the archetype I feel like it doesn't really fix the core problem of the archetype which is disruption during the opponent's turn I feel like this archetype needs one one more disruptive card that can be used during the opponent's turn if konami really wants to stabilize this strategy but at this point i think unchained players will take uh you know they'll take solid monsters if they can get them anyways whatever you guys think of unchained twin salama leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos